Welcome back to Learn JavaScript on Code Academy. We're in the Objects section. This is Nested Objects. In application code, objects are often nested. An object might have another object as a property, which in turn could have a property that's an array of even more objects. In our spaceship object, we want a crew object. This will contain all the crew members who do important work on the craft. Each of those crew members are objects themselves. They have properties like name and degree, and they each have unique methods based on their roles. We can also nest other objects in the spaceship such as telescope or nest details about the spaceship's computers inside a parent nanoelectronics object. Here we have const spaceship is this object with different keys some of which are other objects. We can chain operators to access nested properties. We'll have to pay attention to which operator makes sense to use in each layer. It can be helpful to pretend you are the computer and evaluate each expression from left to right so that each operation starts to feel a little more manageable. Here we have spaceship dot nanoelectronics bracket backup dot battery. This should return lithium. And if we go up, we can see how they did that because we go into our spaceship. Then it goes down to nanoelectronics. And here we go into backup and then we go into battery which has lithium. In the preceding code, first a computer evaluates spaceship.nanoelectronics, which results in an object containing the backup and computer objects. We access the backup object by appending backup. The backup object has a battery property accessed with dot battery, which returned the value stored there, lithium. Our instructions say create a variable, cap fave and assign the captain's favorite food the element in the zeroth index of her favorite foods array to it. Make sure to use bracket and dot notation to get the value of the food through nested access. Don't just copy the value into the variable. Let's do that now. Run it. We did pass. 2 says, right now the passenger's property has a value of null. Instead, assign as its value an array of objects. These objects should represent the spaceship's passengers as individual objects. Make at least one passenger object in the array that has at least one key value pair on it. And we could do that up here. Here's null. We're going to make it an array and it's going to have some objects. And our passengers object should have at least one key value pair. We could make one up of name. So now we have an array of objects and they have a key value pair of name. Let's run it. We do pass. 3 says create a variable first passenger and assign the first passenger as its value the element in the zeroth index of the spaceship.passengers array you just made. Make sure to use bracket and dot notation to get the passenger object through nested access. Don't just copy the object into the variable. Let's do that now. So this should get spaceship.passengers index zero, which would be our first object. And we're assigning that to our first passenger variable. Let's run that. And we did pass. So what we're learning here is about nested objects and how we're able to access values of objects within objects by just chaining property names. We're able to use a combination of our dot operator and bracket notation to access our nested values. As long as you're understanding that, you guys are getting this lesson, and I'll see you in the next one.